What is up guys, it is Once Daily Edits here bringing you another tutorial on how to do the CC Light Burst 2.5, well for me it's 2.5, and this is just a preview of what it will look like, and it's right about here. So that little light burst that you saw, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that today. So, first thing first, import your clip that you want to use. I'm going to use one from my, yeah, it just crashed like two seconds ago and I was almost done with the tutorial, so not too happy about that, but I'm using a clip from my good friend Coz, or Cozy, whatever you want to call him. Uh, press S for scale. This is just to get rid of the black bars. If you've been following along with the tutorials, then you will understand why I did that but if not then you should definitely go back to the very first tutorial and start watching if you are new to editing and then alt bracket for right there and then press B and you'll see why I press B in a second and then go alt close bracket oops mess that up press control alt close bracket and if you hear me say alt that might be wrong because I'm using a Windows computer or a Windows or a PC keyboard on a Mac so I'm still pretty sure it is alt on Windows not for sure though but I use alt so and then press in click on the little work area I guess you'd say and then click trim to work area and then now go to right where he shoots as you can see it's right about here so go one frame before it and then right here you can type in CC light and then just drag on CC light burst and since it is one frame before change the ray length to zero keyframe it make sure you keyframe it because I also forgot to do that earlier and then go one frame after and change it around 65 or if you want it more or less then change it to however you like and then go a couple maybe like one one and a half seconds afterwards and change it back down to zero and then I'm just gonna add a looks to it color correction so this doesn't look as ugly I'll just use the one I used for episode 3 and then now let's just go and render this out I'm rendering or I'm skipping every three frames when I render because it renders obviously in a third of the time it would since it's skipping every three and um, it looks practically exactly the same as it would with one frame because uh, if you if you don't want to do three then at least skip one frame because on YouTube it will skip one frame So it's kind of pointless to not skip a frame because if whenever you do skip a frame then that's exactly what it will look like on YouTube And as you can see right there it has that nice effect and especially if you have a song on there and right whenever the bass hits whenever he shoots if you align it up correctly then that will ha be a very nice effect and um don't overuse it though like don't use it four times in an episode not even three maybe two one at the beginning one at the end because if you do this every time then it will get pretty old and people will get annoyed and watching it so i'm not no pro in editing though so it's whatever you want to do i just started a couple months ago and everything i have learned i have learned from baker tuts so i give all the credit for the tutorials I do to Baker Tuts. So if you're like, oh, you sold it on Baker Tuts, you use the exact same setting. <laughs> Fuck you, because I just told you I got it from Baker Tuts. So you should definitely go sub to him. He is a champ at editing, probably the, the best person I've ever seen. I'll put a link in the description to his channel, and that is about it. If you guys have any more requests for me to do or any suggestions for me to do while I'm doing the tutorial then just go ahead and tell me I won't get all pissed off and butthurt about it cuz I'll just take it as uh, criticism I guess you'd say well that is what you'd say so yeah thank you for watching and if you are not subscribed please subscribe and thumbs up the video thank you